TV is bizarre. They have these Westminster Kennel dog shows on. I, I never watched the end of them. It's bizarre. These people that are doctors that decide what's the best in show. And it's literally like uh, <laughs> judging who bred the best superior person and then they get a, a money award for it. You're like, live the Lord's prayer and stop being so fucking wackadoodle, right? Um, I love animals, you know, and stuff. And, and uh, me and Zeke been going through it here because he's been, you know, He's like 105 in dog years, and he's really lived longer than most dogs do. Um, he's uncomfortable because, you know, the body's getting really shut down. He's going through the same things that Pebbles went through, and Pebbles was terrible because somebody declawed her, and she was just atrocious. <laughs> she was a bad cat. She really was. She would try to, she'd pee all over everything, poop all over You just get tired of it, and we live in a small, tiny room. When I finally put her in the cat room, Dad was like, I wish you hadn't let her come in there because she's horrible. She pees on everything. She, she'd stand in the cat box, and then she'd pee directly on the floor. So I had to put papers around everything. I had to just, we had to tolerate her till she died. Okay. Because she, she had been declawed, and she hated the world, you know, because people declawed her. She was just, she was alpha mean, and she was just, she was a brat. Okay. And uh, the older she got, the worse she was. And there wasn't much you could do if because you, you couldn't give her a claws back. Right? And uh, when you put people in certain conditions and you put animals in certain conditions, some people are going to look inadequate. Some people are going to look, quote, more adequate if you use the manipulation of money and technology to make it look so. Okay. And so I, I've been cognizant of this recently because, you know, they monitor me and study me through this, the equipment that I... Uh, observe them and then take AI and make AI better than the people studying me. Right. And you're like, watch it. Well, it's because I changed it here because Nevada's playing New Mexico in basketball. I was going to go see if it was an actual on-time game and they're actually playing it or if it's taped or whatever stuff and see if I was going to watch it. But, you know, I did watch that thing today on that Apple thing with the thing on your face to do your work. You're not working. You're being distracted by philanthropist. To put yourself in a world that's irrational. They these people, you know, this guy was sitting there, his name was Will, and he's looking at, um, you know, somebody who either climbed a mountain and took pictures of it with a camera or used a drone. And this was his workspace, and you could involve this woman in the workspace and then make the, wor the workspace that makes you more, you know, and then it had this, you need to meditate, and you're one with the universe, and now you need to relax. And, be, and you're like, all that crazy bullshit that wackadoodle, crystal blue persuasion people do, right? And you're like, just forgive debt and trespass, love one, and eternal faithful peace, care and care and give and course you need to build the last. Okay. And you watch these commercials of these professional football leagues with all these war planes flying over from people that are in an industry that, you know, that I was watching that thing on Interpol on 60 Minutes, you know, that one guy, I just and that, and I was like, guy, I was in Sierra Vista, and then in Cruces, and oh, never mind. <laughs> Interpol can't keep anybody safe. They can't help people uh, be given the justice of the Lord's Prayer, the wisdom of Proverbs, and the faithful love of Psalms. It's just not tangible. You can't be a philanthropist, okay, and be a good Christian. You can't be like Jesus and myself and be a philanthropist. You can't believe that money is real and give your time away for money and then become secular, tribal, or insular and break into class. Uh, warfare, like that one lady in Sierra Vista. You're talking about class warfare, and I told her class warfare has been on you for the last 5,000 years or 10,000 years, whether you'd have it or not, lady. You must be uh, married and getting screwed by one of those officers at Fort Huachuca or a scientist. There's no difference, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to keep loading because me giving access to the public is more important than you manipulating the public with your abuse. <laughs>